What's up you guys, my name's Apprenti and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the Sambuca gas chamber. Really cool thing and there is two ways to do it. There's the traditional way and the alternative way. I'm going to be showing you how to do it the alternative way. I will touch over the traditional method and how it varies. Really simple, really easy to do and really fun as well. All you need is a goblet, a, a glass as well, so that when you put the, the goblet on top of the, of the glass it goes like that. Obviously you're going to need some Sambuca. Uh, a lighter as well, and if you're doing it the traditional way, you'll need three coffee beans. So basically, all you do is you crack open your sambuca, you want to pour it into your goblet. Now, if you're doing it the traditional way, this is where you need your coffee beans. You will be putting three coffee beans in here. Once you've done that, you're going to prop it on the side just like that. I'm going to talk you through it before I actually do it myself. So what you're going to do essentially is you're going to set this all light here. Set it on fire, let it burn for about 30 seconds. Once you've done that, you're going to pour it into the, the glass underneath and then trap it like I showed you um, with it so nothing can escape. Then what you're going to do is you're going to put this glass with nothing in it straight on the deck. Let it sit there while you take the shot of the uh, the sambuca. Now the traditional way is you take the sit a shot until you get to the coffee bean. Um, the three coffee beans stand for wealth, prosperity and health. And um, When you get to a coffee bean, you stop doing the shot, you bite into the coffee bean and then you continue. That's the traditional method. Once you've done that, what you're going to do is you're going to get a bendy straw, pull it out and then you're going to hold it just like that um, underneath the glass and you're going to inhale all the, uh, essentially the Sambuca, the pure alcohol fumes. Now this gives you really lightheaded, and literally I've passed out from this twice. I've done it quite a few times. Um, it is incredibly stupid to do, I should point out. Uh, I've passed out from it twice from inhaling too much. So hopefully that doesn't happen today. I'm gonna turn the lights off and let's get on with it. There we go, I'm gonna light it. I always burn my hands when I do this. Happy days, that's it lit. I'm gonna turn the light off now so you guys can see it properly. There we are, so you'll let that burn for about 30 seconds or so. Um, when you put the coffee beans as well, it helps roast it really nice. Um, you've got to make sure as well that the glass is actually heat proof. I have had a grass clack. Ah! Fuck's sake! Oh, fuck's sake! No! Fuck. I've had a glass crack doing this before. Um, this is heat proof, usually. Like that. Now I know that definitely the bottom glass is broke, uh, heat proof, the top one's actually cracked, however it has sustained, I'm going to turn the light back on now. Okay so that was quite ironic, I was talking about glasses cracking and as I did, um, that one essentially started to crack. Never done it before with this glass, um, so that's probably why, however what I'm going to do now is going to lift it up and put it on the deck and then do the shot, so I'll do that just now. Like that, really nice and fast. Now that's on the deck, what you're going to do is you're going to do the shot of Sambuca. Bear in mind this is going to be warm, so you want to let it cool just for a wee bit. So give it about 30 seconds for this to sit there. Then do the shot, so I'll do it right back now. Now you want to get your straw, be very careful with this. And then, I'm going to move to the side here so you guys can see a bit better. Put it under and inhale, so... <coughs> There's still more in there, but I recommend taking two or three hits. Don't do it all in a water. That's all now. Oh my fucking word, that gets you so lightheaded and it gets you drunk so fast as well. It's literally 100% pure alcohol vapors going straight into your bloodstream. Which is why I wouldn't recommend doing these back to back or one after each other. I'm going to have to find a new glass now because as you guys can see, that is what happened when I said make sure you use a heat proof glass. This one actually cracked. Oh fuck, I thought that broke even more. Anyway folks, hopefully you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, feel free to smash the like button if you much and greatly appreciate it. If you have any more suggestions for things like this for next time, make sure you let me know what they are in the comment section down below. Feel free to go follow me on Snapchat, Twitter and Instagram. Links to all the good stuff will be in the description. Other than that guys, though, until next time, I've been the Prentai, and see y'all soon.